Gary, congratulations. We got there in the end, into the fourth round. How do you reflect on that big win? Um, yeah, a lot of effort went into it. Obviously, that's 210 minutes plus there of um, first sort of 90 with 10 men down at Brentford. Um, and then a big effort today. Really liked us sort of first half, first hour. Thought we were very good. Terrible goals to concede because we were in complete control of the game. Um, made it tough for ourselves. Um, and it sort of looked from that moment our Brentford wanted it to. They managed to make it sort of scrappy and we never managed to get really our control back. Um, missed a couple of really big chances though to win it in, in normal time. Uh, and then had to hang on. So um, yeah, showed good elements of what it's like and how to get through a cup tie. Um, lots to improve, but the, the important thing was just winning. So you can see the effort that went in from everybody. There was yeah, some tired bodies out there, but everyone wanted to make sure that we, we got a crack at the next round and we, and we do. Instant impact from Nathan Fraser scoring and getting that equaliser and sending us into extra time. He's now scored in both of his appearances here at Molyneux. How much has he impressed you? Yeah, he's done well. He's not been fully fit for a while either. He um, hasn't trained much. Um, obviously, we're, we're short of uh, attacking players at this moment with Chani being away um, so yeah a lot of onus on the boys that are here and it was a great finish from him um, probably should have had another one as well to keep made a great save but yeah they had a decent impact played through the middle of the pitch got in the box got himself in dangerous areas worked hard um, so yeah as I said when um, I think it was last week when we spoke about it like the, the 23s if, if they're good enough and they're ready we're, we're going to have to use them at the moment because we're short and um Reef and Nan Tawanda have both played a part in this sort of cup tie against Brentford and both done okay. Well, next up in the cup now, we've got a Black Country derby. The first time in 12 years that'll be played in front of fans. I'm sure you heard at the end there just how much that means to the crowd. Yeah, really pleased. Of course, there was no real focus on that from our point of view. Um, just really desperate to win our, our game and, and make sure we got through to the next round. But now, of course, it's, you know, it's happening. It's a big game for the club, big game for the, for the supporters. Um, <clears throat> To the, the fight and the work we had to put in to, to get there will take its toll of course we've got another really important game in five days and we are short of players at the moment so the lads um, should get real good appreciation from the supporters I don't that they will but the, the work they've put in for those sort of two cup games when would have been easy to say okay we're down to ten men we've got a small squad better to get out the cup and focus on the league there was none of that from anybody everybody desperate to do their bit and to, to make sure that we got through so Players deserve a huge amount of credit um, and looking forward to it, yeah. I've never never been to a to a black country derby. Um, heard a lot about them, so um, yeah, looking forward to it. Congratulations, Nathan. A very cold modern unite, but one to remember for you? Uh, yes, yeah, my first game in the FA Cup, so I was just happy to come on. And um, yeah, it was good to help the teams get the win in the end. Well, we were stood here after your League Cup debut when you scored. Now we're stood here again in the FA Cup. You must be over the moon. Yeah, to be honest, I'm just think, hoping that my luck carries on if I get put on the <laughs> Premier League at the moment. But yeah, I was just happy to come on. Yeah, I wouldn't, didn't think I was going to come on, to be honest. But um, when you come on, you've just got to try and do your best. And like I said, it's always good to get a goal. Yeah, that's the main thing. Well, we could see from your celebration just how much it meant to you. This must be something you dream of, scoring in the FA Cup. Yeah, I think it's one of them ones where it's, it's a bit like surreal because, you know, the FA Cup, it's, it's a big thing. So um, it's one of the things, like, before the game, you, obviously you always want to score, but certain things you got to be realistic. And so I wasn't really thinking about scoring. I was more thinking about doing my job. But I guess at the end of the day, if I get a chance, I need to be able to take it. So it's nice to do that. Were your family here watching again tonight? Uh, yeah, my girlfriend was here, my mum was here. My girlfriend's granddad was meant to be here, but I couldn't get, I, did, I forgot to get him a ticket, so no. yeah, he's stuck <laughs> at home, yeah. But I thought I'd make sure I'd give him a mention just so, <laughs> just, just to make up for that he's not here. Yeah. Well, I'm sure he'll forgive you now into a black country derby in the next round. As a local lad, I'm sure you mean, no, just how much that means. Yeah, I think. Um, I speak to a couple of my friends and they were saying, like, imagine if you send us through to the... the <laughs> I almost did, but um, I think speaking, being a Wolves player for so long and being from Wolverhampton, all your friends um, support Wolves, you, you really understand how big the game is. So to help us get through to, to that game and I know the fans be excited about it. So, yeah, it feels good. Are you hoping you'll be able to contribute in that game as well? I mean, yeah, yeah, <laughs> hopefully, but... Um, I just got to see what happens and um, but I know it will be a good game.
brilliant. Congratulations, Nathan. Yeah, thank you. Thank, thank you. you.